The world craves conflict. Get down! Times when we fight with our hearts, wounded and bleeding. That's the only time you know you're alive. But now, everyone acts like they're above that. The current world is built on the pathetic ideas of bonds and connections. All structured around the memories that were forged until now. Which means the world is built on memories. But what would happen to the world if those things went away? That's right. People will do what they always do. I will change this world. Pain, who once led Hidden Rain Village, perished before he could achieve his dream. I have inherited his will, and realized the rule of the strongest. A world ruled by strength is the future. I will become a god, and rule with power for all time. That is why I need your help. We must crush the Five Nations. Destroy the Five Kage and all that surround them. I expect great things from all of you. Now, let the games begin. This would happen. Still going to stop me? No.
did this happen? It started from something so small. We made it to Hidden Leaf Village. That's mission accomplished. That went faster than I thought. Well, catching cats is pretty easy. Looks like you got scratched, though. Did I? I don't remember. You have a selective memory. Konohamaru-sensei, can we be done for the day? Hmm. There aren't any more missions. Okay, that's it for today. Good work, guys. Oh, wait a minute! If you'll excuse me, Konohamaru-sensei. Yes? What happened? What do you mean? You seem to be in a hurry to go home. Is everything okay? The new game I ordered should be at my house. Game? Seriously? Is it Ninja Heroes? How'd you know? It's a really popular video game in the ninja world right now. Yeah, I looked everywhere and I finally got a copy. You do love your games. Actually, I'm doing something for Himawari this time. What do you mean? That, over there. A new campaign is open in Ninja Heroes! This is your chance to get a super rare replica of the necklace worn by the Lord Seventh Hokage when he was young! Let's travel to the world of Ninja Heroes right now! Boruto! Daddy's necklace! A necklace? Mom, did Dad wear something like that? He doesn't wear it now, but I'm sure there was a time he wore the necklace he got from the fifth Hokage. Hmm. So it's a replica of the old one? <laughs> I can't believe game companies check all that stuff. Aww. What? If you want that, I'll get it for you. Really? Yeah, leave it to me. So, Mom, can I buy that new game for Himawari? Are you sure it's not for you? No, it's for Himawari. So, that's what happened. So I guess it is for Himawari. Yeah, and that's why I have to play the game. What do you mean you have to? You're smiling. Anyways, gotta go. See you, Sarda, Mitsuki. I'm home. Welcome home. Oh, welcome home! So this is Ninja Heroes. Okay! <laughs> First of all, I've got to make sure that we've got a network connection set up. So, yep, no problem there. Well then... Oh, I see. We've got to choose the name that we're going to use in the game. Well, okay. I guess my own name will do. Now we need to choose what our avatar is going to be. Hmm. 
Sasuke would be a cool image to use. But you know, I think I'll use my dad's appearance from back then. Guess I'll just press these buttons to select the rest. And we're all set. Time to have some fun. Let's start the game. So this is Ninja Hero's virtual world. Oh. Whoa, I look just like my dad. This is kind of weird, but fun too. Kind of makes it exciting. <laughs> Let's see, where do I go first? And what am I supposed to do? Where can I join a battle? Nanashi, has a new event started? There are no new events at this time. No new events? And eh, then let's go do some free missions. Is that this game's guide character or something? Hey! Hello, I'm Nanashi. I'll be your guide to events. There are no new events at this time. Oh, that's fine. I don't need that. Could you just tell me what beginners should be doing? All beginners should read page 13 in the manual before playing. I don't want to read a manual, so why don't you just tell me? All beginners should read page 13 in the manual before playing. I mean, I just want to know the basics. All beginners should read page 13 in the manual before playing. Come on, just tell me. You already know what's on this page 13. You won't give up. Huh? I'm just the event guide. I don't deal with newbies. What's with the attitude? Because you're so persistent. You know, it's not just you. The ninja world now is too soft. Why don't you look it up yourself before you ask someone else? Come on, I'm a newbie. Help me out. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner or not. You just want things to be easier. <sighs> Whatever. If you insist, I guess I could use my valuable time and tell you about it. Okay, I'll look into it myself. Just at least tell me where I can go to battle. Come on, please. Honestly. <sighs> Fine. You're annoyingly persistent. I'll guide you around as a special favor. Well, gee, thank you very much for that. What took you? It's because you left so fast. You can take on lots of different missions here, so take on any that seem to interest you. Anyway, you're on your own. Wait a minute! What now? I mentioned it before, but I'm a beginner, so do you have any battles for noobs? There's nothing like that. Since you're like an event guide or whatever, doesn't that mean you know a lot about this game's system? Couldn't you arrange some kind of easy battle for me? I've faced a lot of players up until now, but you're the first one to be this shameless. The beginning is crucial. I really want to enjoy this game. <sighs> you're so annoying. Okay. You'll probably just keep pestering me if I say no, so... I'll prepare a battle for you as a special favor. Okay. Come on, it's time to do this. So? What are you going to do? Are you going to get started? Sure, looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah. I think I finally understand how these battles work. Now I'm really done with guiding you. Got it? Yeah, I'll look into it on my own later on. I'm finally free. <laughs> You're funny. Huh? I mean, you helped me out and even set up a battle for me. Thanks! What a weirdo. Whew. 
This game was way cooler than I thought it'd be. I'll have to tell Shikadai and the others about it. Naruto! Food's almost ready, come on down. Yeah, I'm coming. I guess that my eyes need a rest. Where's Dad? He said his schedule is full today. Again? <sighs> it's been five months. We still haven't tracked down Tegusei? No. We're still investigating. I apologize that there was a thief working from my lab. It's not just your fault. We weren't vigilant enough. I can't believe he's still off our radar after all the stealing he did. It's impressive. He probably used a ninja tool to escape. He was a very talented staff member. What's unfortunate is that we were unable to make him understand that what he was doing was wrong. If only we could have used his powers for good instead of evil. Yeah. You remember that Tegusei stole ninja tools and design data when he ran away. However, yesterday, we discovered that he had stolen another object. What? The history of the Warring State Seals was stolen from the library. What's that? It's a scroll that lists the people sealed during the Warring States period. It details the reasons why they were sealed away, and the locations where they're being held as well. This is bad. Continue the search. The ninja tools being stolen was bad, but stealing that scroll is even worse. Fortunately, we have a copy of it. We can use it to investigate all the seal locations. Katasuke, inspect the lab with the investigation team for leads. Yes, sir. Hey, Shikadai. In a jean? Hey. Hi! What are you doing here? We're talking about where to meet up. Meet? Have you heard of the game Ninja Heroes? We were talking about playing together. What? You guys have Ninja Heroes too? I finally got it yesterday. I guess that makes us a little more experienced than you. Seriously? I guess it could beat me to it. If you have it too, want to start playing together? Yeah, I was thinking about contacting you guys. Then let's meet up in front of the mission information desk. <laughs> Copy that. Looking forward to your guidance, Mr. Expert. See you later, noob. <laughs> okay, now I'll show Shikadai and the others how good I can play. Let the games begin. Actually, I don't even know what Shikadai and the others look like here. Got no choice. Hey! Shikadai! Are you here? Idiot! Don't yell out my real name here! Look, it was our fault for not letting him know what we were gonna look like. So this is Shikadai and Inojin. Yep. Hmm. Shikadai looks like Gara. Yeah, I mean, we're related. Pretty nice, right? So what are you supposed to be, Inojin? Huh? Don't I look cool? You think so? You have no artistic sense, Boruto. Come on, who cares about what we look like? Let's get started already. 
We already accepted a mission, and we can get started on that right away, if you're okay with that, Boruto. Thanks. Guess I'll take a crack at this. Okay. Pretty good at this. Yeah, I'm pretty good at everything I do. It was just as hot. A thousand needles to realize how much we supported it. Yeah, that's right. Come on. Seems pretty winnable. Come on. Yeah, just need to figure out how to finish it. A big splashy jutsu would be cool. Let's try it. I need a winner. Pretty fun messing around in the game world. Yeah, being so different from real life is what makes it fun. By the way, why did you start playing this game, Boruto? Is it because it got popular? You know, they're doing that campaign where you can get my dad's necklace. Himawari really wants that. Oh, that thing that they're running on the commercials. But there isn't any information about it yet. Something about announcing it later? Seriously? Well, what do I do now? I started playing this game for the necklace. There's way more people now. Yeah, there's probably more than double compared to when we started. Oh. Nanashi! You again? I heard there's no information about the necklace campaign yet. I want that necklace, so what do I gotta do? I don't know. I'm just an event guide. I'm not in charge of campaigns. So, I just have to wait until they update the information? Basically. Ugh. So, we're done here? Wait a minute! What? You can pester me all you want about the campaign, but I still don't know anything. No, that's fine. Did you see what I just did? What? That combo attack was pretty impressive, right? I think I got the hang of dodging, too. No, I didn't see you. I mean, why would I? Come on, I was kicking butt out there! Why is he so friendly with the guide character? Her reactions are different from when we talked to her. Isn't she being controlled by a computer? So she changes her attitude depending on who talks to her? That's some pretty impressive tech. Or maybe someone is controlling her behind the scenes. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's plausible. Sorry, I just ran into someone I know. Someone you know? We're heading back soon. Already? We've got a night mission in the real world. It's a pain, but we gotta go get ready for that. I see. Well, I guess that makes sense then. Good luck! Bye see you now. later. Fun playing games with people you know. I'll rope in Mitsuki and Sarada next. <sighs> Maybe I've been playing too long. Mom! Food, please! Going far for your mission today? Yeah, it's close enough for a day trip, though. Be careful. See you later! See you when I get back! Okay, you're here. 
Team 7 will be heading into the northwest region of the Land of Fire for an investigative mission. It's a small part of a large forest. Why are we going there? According to the report, there's an abnormality in part of the forest. Abnormality? The report mentioned a landslide. Our mission is to check the scene and investigate its cause. There probably won't be any danger of battle, but keep your guards up. Right! right. What is this? Is this the spot? Yes, but this is worse than I imagined. Konohamaru Sensei, where do you want us to go? There's a village nearby. Sarada and I will head there to gather intel. Boruto, Mitsuki, I want you two to search this area and see if you can find anything that could have caused this. Got, Got it! it. Nothing. I tried all I could. Then all we managed to figure out was that it was caused by someone. Yes. And clearly only part of the forest has been destroyed. It wouldn't look like this if it were a natural disaster. Who would do this? Sorry I'm late. Hey, how'd it go? We asked around. The incident occurred three days ago, late at night. A loud crash was heard from deep inside the forest, and the tremors reached all the way to the village. So when they came by the next day, this is what they saw. Even the residents don't know what caused it. Actually, we heard something pretty interesting. A number of residents said they saw a glowing giant through the treetops. A glowing giant? Hmm. Hearing that makes me think of Sasuke for some reason. Yeah, Susanoo. But I don't think Dad would do this for no reason. That's true. Hmm. Let's forget the giant for a minute. Our own investigations found that this destruction was caused by a human. I see. Now we just have to figure out who did it and why. Let's return to the village and give our report for now. It'll be better to leave it to an expert rather than investigate this any further on our own. What happened? Someone destroyed it. We'll need more details on this incident. Yes. I'll send an inspection team. This incident should be thoroughly investigated. Dad, do you have any idea what the glowing giant is? Does it have to do with Sasuke or something? Did you hear anything about Sasuke being there? Nothing in the reports. So we can't be certain about anything right now. Hmm. We'll check things out, and if we find anything, we'll let you know. Good work today. Take the rest of the day off. Yes, yes sir. sir. <sighs> what could it be? <laughs> so I guess that caught your attention. Well, it was just a test. Investigating it is useless.
We won't figure anything out here. Man, I know that. Still, something's bugging me. You get so serious about weird stuff. I'm worried too, though. I guess that's to be expected. Hey, Boruto. What? Is that game you bought fun? Uh, huh? Well, that was out of nowhere. There's nothing we can do here, right? I thought I'd change the subject. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, let's talk on our way home. Thank you very much! Anyway, about the game. It's pretty fun. It's like you're opened up to a whole new world. It's something you have to experience for yourself. I can't really explain it, but it's awesome. Okay. Hmm. I highly recommend it. If you buy it, we can play together. Sounds kind of fun, but probably not for me since I've never owned a game console. I want to play with you, so I'll see if I can get it. Cool. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, that's all for today. See you, Sarda. Mitsuki. Hey! <sighs> you again? Ninja these days sure have a lot of free time. Oh, come on. It's just a game. Sure. Whatever. Why are you in such a bad mood? Don't you want to have fun playing the game? How is the guide supposed to have fun playing the game? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, right, of course. But don't you want to have some fun? What about you? Do you actually have fun in this game? What? I heard some other players talking. They were going on about how this game has what's called a beginner's wall, and it's not actually that fun until you get past that. So you should first focus on whether or not you're having fun in this game. Beginner's wall? And also, there's this. If you're able to get past that wall by one way or another, by mere chance, in some way, miraculously, by pure luck, then I might have fun by being surprised. I mean, there could be a slight chance of that. Whoa! I'm joking, of course. That wouldn't be fun for me. You might be joking, but you never know unless you try. Tell me about this beginner's wall. You... Uh, why do you take jokes so seriously? Whatever. It sounds fun. Plus, having a goal gives me motivation. <sighs> You're not gonna let up, are you? All right. They were talking about a mission's rank. Apparently, there's a rank that beginners can't overcome. They said it was the first D rank. I guess the first rank is the wall. Huh. I see. Okay, I'll do it. I'll get past that wall right away and surprise you. Fine. Whatever. Like that! Mission accomplished! I'm not a beginner anymore! Huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm awesome. <laughs> You're speechless. No, I'm just amazed. You really did it! You really do have a lot of free time. But I did it. You're not being very nice to me. Hey, what's so fun about surprising me? You're always in a bad mood. I just want to be more friendly with you. You want to be friendly with the guide? Don't worry, it's not what you think. I just want to be friends. Friends? You and me? Also, don't be so formal all the time. My name's Boruto. 
It's weird that I use my real name for the game instead of a handle. Huh. What a weirdo. The heck? So tired. Maybe I overdid it a bit. Oh, Boruto came down. Great, I'm starving. What? I have an extra copy of Ninja Heroes, so I'm giving it to Sarada. But what do you mean? How? Oh, I just happened to get the game after we talked. Then my parents sent me a copy on the same day. My parents said I should play it because it was very interesting. Uh, oh, <laughs> that was a nice gesture. I don't need two copies, so you can have one, Sarada. You said you were interested, right? But I, I can't accept that. I'm just going to throw it away if you don't want it. What throw a waste. it away? You're right. It is a waste. So you'd be helping me out by taking it. Ugh. I feel bad taking it. Borrowing it, on the other hand. Fine, you're borrowing it. That's all three of us, Boruto. Now we can play together. It, yeah. Should we meet up in the game later then? We can, but how do we meet up? Uh, first you set up the game, right? Then you set the settings to... The others should be about done with their settings. But playing this game together on Team 7 feels kind of weird. Boruto. All right, it looks like you were both able to start the game. Games these days are amazing. I understand why you like them so much. Right? I've played a lot of games, but none of them were this awesome. Hmm. By the way, the avatars you guys chose are... <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of choosing the seventh, but... I didn't really want to be a male character. So that's why you picked your mom. Honestly, I'm a bit anxious looking like her. I look up to my parents, so looking like this makes me happy. <laughs> well, all of us are here together now. So why don't we just start up an easy battle? I'll get it ready for you. Hm? You! What? You disappeared all of a sudden before. I thought something happened. Uh, I have my secrets. Hey, who's this? Oh, this is our guide, Nanashi. Wow, so if there's something I don't understand, can I ask Nanashi? Maybe. She's the guide for events, but she doesn't like to do anything else. Words hurt, you know. I said I would help you. You said that earlier, but I didn't think you were serious. I assumed you didn't want to do it. There are times when I want to help. Very, very rarely, mind you. I probably shouldn't have said that. I know you're the game's guide character, but can you really set up a battle at your own convenience? I'm like a wizard in this space. That's nothing. That's amazing. Hey, Boruto, come on. She's saying she'll help us. Yeah, but what's up with you? Shut up. It's fine. It's a battle, right? I'll get it ready so you can just go play. Uh, okay. She's pretty pushy. Y yeah Okay, let's do this. I'm counting on you, Nanashi. Okay, I'm starting the battle.
did it! This game is fun. It's so realistic. I knew you'd have fun, Mitsuki. But you too, Sarda? You're usually so stubborn. Is that so bad? You're cool with me. It's only gonna get better. Let's keep going. What if I get hooked on this? Thanks, Nanashi. That was a lot of fun. Boruto, you looked like you were enjoying yourselves. That's nice. Huh? What's that mean? <laughs> it means I'm glad you're enjoying the game. That's because you prepared a fun battle for us. That's right. Thanks, Nanashi. Then why don't you come back tomorrow, too? Hmm? Huh? It's not like you to be so inviting. I wasn't inviting you. Sounds good to me. I want to play this game again. I'll do what you want to do, Boruto. Huh. Then all three of us will be back. Yeah. I gotta get going. I have to help my mom. I know what kind of game this is now, so that's good. I'm going to. I want to talk to my parent. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye, Boruto. See you, Nanashi. Let's see. Guess I'll wander around a little. See ya. Hey, you finally called me by my name. Oh, I did. I don't know why you did it, but I'm glad. <sighs> what? It's just... I'm not usually like this, but you're different. Huh? That was fun, but I'm beat. I've been staring at the screen for way too long. Yes, very good. It makes me feel very good when everyone has so much fun. I'm glad things are going well. <laughs> I am unquestionably a true genius. There is no way that I could ever fail. And that is exactly the reason why Katasuke-sensei should have treated me with much greater kindness. But all he did was tell me I was wrong. He's just a loud-mouthed old man. I'll do what I want. Yes, that's right. It's what I must do. I, Tegusei, didn't learn the most cutting-edge research to create something boring. Which is why I... So... Oh, yes, yes. It, is it? <laughs> A 98% recovery factor. It's exactly as we planned, so we can proceed tomorrow. The whole ninja world will be shocked. Right, Master Mertz? That's excellent. You don't usually have breakfast with us, Dad. <laughs> Sorry I can't eat with you every morning. Did you finish work? No, the opposite. Something important came in, so I might not be able to eat with you again for a while. So today's the only day we'll all eat together. Sorry. It's okay. 
I know how hard your job is, Dad. Thanks. <laughs> that reminds me, Boruto. I wanted to tell you something. Hmm? Lately, a lot of people who are playing games are collapsing from exhaustion. What do you mean? They're still investigating the details, but I don't think it's a coincidence. I'm not saying you shouldn't play, but be careful. Like a ninja should be. Thanks for breakfast. I'm heading out now. Oh, me too. I have a mission. Wow, wow, you're both so busy. Be careful, Daddy. You too, Boruto. That's what my dad said this morning. People collapsing after playing games. Hey, is the game the seventh was talking about ninja heroes? I don't know, I didn't ask. I do feel weirdly tired after I play that game, though. Isn't that just your eyes getting tired? I don't feel like it's just my eyes. Hmm. Maybe I should ask around about it. Ask around? There are lots of people playing Ninja Heroes. Let's ask them. Sure thing. We were planning to play Ninja Heroes today anyway. Oh well. I'm tired after the mission, but I guess I'll play a little. Collapsing from games? I'll have to get more info on this to figure out what's happening. Okay. I'll carve a new mark. You better conform this time. And quit your crying! Crying won't get you anywhere! What was that? Boruto! You are just staring into space. She could die and the others went ahead to ask around. Hey, that weird movie when the game starts, what is that? Huh? There was no movie. No way, I just saw it. It was too fuzzy for me to make much out. <sighs> I don't know what it was you saw. We didn't see it. Seriously? Hey, if you don't feel well today, why don't you stop? We can ask around by ourselves. Uh, I'm fine. I was just a little startled. Okay, let's get to it. You know, I think we should ask some of the other players. Maybe we can get some good info out of them. Do I get tired playing this game? Of course I do. I mean, I really get into it. When you're that into a game, it's natural to get worn out. Hey, you know, I do feel oddly tired when I play this game. I thought it was just my eyes that were tired, but my whole body gets so sluggish. I haven't fainted or anything, though. My friend told me his friend fainted. I also heard they played Ninja Heroes for like 20 hours a day. Anyone would faint after that. I actually got so tired I had to go to the hospital once. I played Ninja Heroes all day that day, and I got really tired out of nowhere. When I woke up, I was in bed. The doctor said that I played the game too much. Now my mom watches me like a hawk. I've heard rumors that there are people who collapsed after playing the game. I tried to look into it myself, but I couldn't figure out who made the game. I asked at the store, but they told me they bought it wholesale, so they don't know. It's really weird. I mean, it's such a popular title. Um, 
<sighs> I guess that's probably enough people for right now. So, summarizing all the information we gathered... The game that people are collapsing from is definitely Ninja Heroes. So that's why I felt so tired before. I'm curious about what Boruto heard regarding people not knowing who made the game. Yeah. Looking into that will probably take a lot of time. We still need a lot of information. Why don't we continue investigating? Yeah. The history of warring state seals. All right, I'll do some investigating of my own. Thanks. Here's a copy. So any news on your end? There's some suspicious intel, but after listening to you, I have some people I'm interested in. The criminal organization Zero. Zero? It was founded by Mertz, a rogue ninja of Hidden Rain and they're furthering the intentions of the late Payne of Akatsuki. Payne? Apparently, Mertz is calling himself Payne's successor, but I don't have any more information than that. They've been operating underground until now, but they've been very active lately. Thinking about the time frame when that Teguse you mentioned left the village, there's a strong possibility that he's working with Zero. Where's their hideout? I don't know yet. I'll look into that, too. Sorry for all the trouble. Don't worry about it. I'm just doing my job. <laughs> I'll look into Zero, too. Come back when you have a chance. It'll make Sarada happy. I don't have time to rest. Are you okay? Huh? What's wrong, Mom? What's wrong? Didn't you see that moon? The moon? What about it? What? Did that really happen? Are you okay? Team Awari! Mom, are you okay? Yes. I got a weird blemish, but I seem to be fine. Blemish? What is this? Do I have one too? It doesn't look like you do. Ah, <sighs> good. Wait, I might be okay, but you and Himawari... It's fine. I'll go to the hospital with Himawari if anything happens. Okay, make sure you do. What the heck happened? With all this going on, Dad probably can't come home for a while.
Oh my. No matter how far scientific ninja tools have progressed, they can't do this yet. The great revolution of pain is near. Three people collapsed after being surprised by the light. 24 others reported feeling ill. After a detailed examination, no major problems were discovered, and all patients were returned home after basic treatment. Thanks for the report. Go rest for a while. You were up all night. Yes, sir. <sighs> no problems. At least so far. That's even stranger. We're still investigating, but it seems that all living beings in the Hidden Leaf were exposed to the light regardless of being indoors or even if they were sleeping. Also, all those exposed to it had a mark-like blemish appear somewhere on their bodies. But these marks disappeared within an hour. It felt more like it was absorbed into my body rather than disappeared. Regardless, it seems imprudent to write off such a commotion so easily. Until we know what it is and what's happening, we should proceed carefully. Yeah. I'll have the inexperienced Genning stay in the village on standby, in case anything else strange happens. Give all missions to Tuning and above for now. I'll tell Sasuke, too. He might have figured something out. Okay, handle it. That was the information we got from the Lord Seventh Hokage. There will be a limit placed on missions. So, no more missions for a while? Looks like it. So, will you play with me? Sorry, Himawari. I know I finally have time off, but there's something I want to look into. Something you want to look into? I want to know what happened yesterday, but there's not enough information right now. I should probably look further into Ninja Heroes. Okay, then. Where were you when that stuff happened with the moon? Oh, man, I was outside then, so I looked right at it. And I got this weird blemish, which freaked me out, but it went away on its own. I was so relieved. Hey, did you do the new event? You mean Kaseki Gathering? Of course I did. You could get a pretty rare reward. Really? Oh, man. Don't do the events without me. Hmm. A new event, huh? Maybe I should see what it's all about. This is the Kiseki Reward Exchange. Ha ha ha! That was worth the hard work. Hey, looks like Kiseki gathering started. It has... Although, you probably don't need to do it. It's not any fun, I bet. Hey, come on! You're supposed to be the guide for the game, aren't you? I mean, you can't just go around saying stuff like that, you know? Well, I guess so. I guess I'll try it out. And I'll see what it's like. Alright, come on, give me the event details. <sighs> Fine. You might be able to get something you want. What's that mean? 
The event-specific character will explain all that at the Mission Information Desk. Mission Information Desk, right. Okay, I'll check it out. This mission reception counter is only for the new event, Kiseki Gathering. Tell me what the Kiseki Gathering event's all about. You got it. Here are the details. Kiseki Gathering is a battle event. It's really hot right now. You fight mysterious enemies in the limited time battles we've prepared. The mysterious enemies are very strong, but if you can beat them, you'll get stones called Kiseki. If you collect Kiseki and give them to Nanashi, the event guide, you can exchange them for rare items in the game. Also, if you have a winner Kiseki, you can get a replica of the Lord Seventh Hokage's necklace currently seen in commercials. However, it's completely up to luck whether or not you get a winner Kiseki, meaning you'll be really lucky if you get one. Okay, make sure to gather Kiseki and get your own necklace. Oh, so that's what Nanashi meant about something I might want. Ah, uh, I am afraid you can't participate in all the battles right now. The remaining battles are still being prepared. Sorry. That should sum things up. Unfortunately, it looks like there were no winners in the Kiseki you collected. But if you give the Kiseki you collected to the guide, Nanashi, you can exchange them for great items. Hey, I gathered some Kiseki. Can you exchange them? All right, you can't exchange unless you have several. Yep, got them all here. I see. What's up with you? You're acting a little weird today. You... Me? It's nothing. Okay, I'll take the Kiseki. No winners. I hate to give up, but that's all for today. I can still play the game tomorrow. Okay, then. Oh, I was caught up in the event and almost forgot there's something I wanted to ask you. So, there's a lot of people who get sick in the real world after playing this game. Do you know why that is? I don't. Oh, so you don't know either. Maybe their eyes are tired? That's what I thought too, but I guess that's not it. Hmm. Oh well, I'll figure it out if I keep checking. You shouldn't stick your nose into it too much. It could be dangerous. How is that dangerous? I'm just investigating why people get tired. Thanks for worrying about me though. <sighs> it's already nighttime. I'm kind of tired. What could it be? So this is where it was released. If so, then that infinite Tsukiyomi makes sense. That means that now, in this world, a mysterious Uchiha exists. Dad! Hey! I didn't think you'd come home for a while.
Yeah, I wasn't supposed to, but I forgot to bring a change of clothes. You're kidding, right? <laughs> Boruto. Hmm? This thing might be trickier than I thought. If something happens, take care of your mom and Himawari. <laughs> you can count on me. But it's not just mom and Himawari I'll protect. I'll take care of you too, Dad. Big words for such a little man. But I'm glad. Okay, I'm heading out now. Let's see. Now Dad left, so... What to do? Days off can be so boring. Hmm. I have time, so I guess it's Ninja Heroes. Maybe part two of Kiseki Gathering started. This mission reception counter is only for the new event, Kiseki Gathering. The battles you couldn't try last time have been unlocked. Make sure to give them a shot.
Kiseki! Congratulations! The Kiseki you just got is a winner Kiseki! Huh? Oh! If you give it to the event guide Nanashi, you'll get a replica of the Lord Seventh Hokage's necklace as a present. Yeah! Himawari will be so happy! I gathered some kiseki, and one of them is a winner! Uh... I didn't think you'd get a winner, Boruto. Okay, so I gave you the kiseki. What do I do now? If you write the reward code, 8070502, on the postcard included in the game box, you'll be sent the necklace. I see. Are you sure? About what? <laughs> Nothing. Hey, you're definitely acting strange. Did something happen? I'm here to talk. We're friends. Friends? Yeah. <laughs> you call me the guide, your friend. Boruto, you are so... so... so weird. <laughs> Come on, I'm trying to cheer you up. It's okay, I don't need cheering up. I may not look like it, but I'm actually excited. About what? Don't tell anyone else, but something really great is going to happen. I have no idea what you're talking about. Is there another event starting or something? Yeah, there is. A big one. So that's the reason. I'm acting different because I've been keeping it secret. So that's what it is. Good to know. It sounds like you have another fun event though. I'll check it out next time I'm investigating. Okay, I'm gonna head back. I have to fill out that postcard. Boruto. Hmm? You're really not all that bad. Hmm? Huh? So... So... If anything you don't like happens, or if you want to get away... You can come here. Huh? That's all. See ya. A weapon does not need a kind name. Not as she will be perfect for you.
<laughs> With this, the tracking effectiveness should dramatically improve. It's still experimental, but I really hope the seventh allows it. Excuse me, seventh? Uh, seventh? And Shikamaru, too. <coughs> Who are you? <coughs> no. Katasuke. It's you. You're Katasuke. Wh what happened? I don't know. M my head. So many things are disappearing. Disappearing? What do you mean? What's this? Call the medical corps right away. It's an emergency. Y yes, sir. <laughs> the seventh is down. It's funny to see Katasuke Sensei so flustered. Our plans will now begin to bring pain to the whole world. Worship me. You belong to Mertz now. Seventh. Seventh! Oh, good. You're both awake. How do you... Seventh, prepare for war. Definitely. W war? What's going on? Good. You're okay, Boruto. What do you mean? Something's wrong with the village! Everyone started preparing for war all of a sudden. What? I don't have any idea what's happening. I was worried something might be wrong with you, too. Thank goodness. <laughs> Where are you going? I'll go ask Dad. 
Boruto. You guys! Hey, hey, what's going on? My mom's acting strange, and I... I'm gonna go talk to my dad. The Seventh isn't home? He's at the Hokage's chamber. Dad, are you seriously going to war? Dad! Seventh! B Boruto! What's wrong? You okay? S some... some kind of crazy power. It, it erased my memory. The memories of this marriage guy came in and took me over. Thanks to Kurama protecting me, I, I had a little memory left that let me come back to myself, but only for an instant. Listen, the mastermind is zero. Merits. Tell, tell Sasuke. Dad! Oruto, you take it from here. Dad? Huh. Get to the battlefield once you're prepared. Dad? Seventh and my mom are acting the same. He said something about Azero and Mers. Yeah. How do you know that name? Uh, Sasuke! Naruto? I see. I'm glad you're all right, Dad. Sasuke, who is Mertz or Zero? Zero is the name of an organization. Mertz is the one who founded it. I still don't know any other details. Only that they're a criminal organization. It's obvious that they're behind what's happening in the ninja world. Are you talking about all this war commotion? Doing something so extravagant so suddenly. Is that possible? No. There were signs a few days ago. If you think of the scope and the timing of the incident, it has to have something to do with that infinite Tsukuyomi. There's something else. When that light shined, this sort of mark appeared on everyone, like a blemish. Mom and Himawari had it too. But why don't we have it? Yeah. Naruto wrote that the mark appeared on all living things, even if they didn't look directly at the moon. I used Susanoo to block the light, so I didn't get a mark. How did you block it? I don't know. We were playing the game when it happened and didn't see it. In there? Y young Lord! You're okay! Wait, are you acting strange too, young lord? I'm fine. I'm normal. R really? Thank goodness. But with the seventh in that condition, I don't know what to say. Did you see the seventh too, Katasuke sensei Yes, late last night. I went to the Hokage's chamber to show him a new scientific ninja tool I developed. Scientific ninja tool? You mean that bag? Oh no. The new scientific ninja tool is in the lab. In here? <laughs> it's embarrassing, but it's the Ninja Heroes game. Huh? 
you keep that on you all the time? Yes, it's a popular game, so I carry it around with me, so I can play anytime. <laughs> Ninja Heroes. That's the game I was talking about. Ninja Heroes is a virtual online game that got popular really quickly recently. If you put on this special equipment, you enter the virtual space, and you can do all sorts of things there. Oh, the virtual space. Right. It's like another world that's different than the real world. Maybe it would be easier for you to understand if I said it was a Genjutsu world used for recreation. A Genjutsu world? People get weirdly tired after playing this game. We were collecting information about it. Uh, Sasuke? Where did you get this? I just bought it. Oh, didn't you say you didn't know who made this game? That's right! I was wondering about it too, so I looked into the developer, but I didn't find anything out. What's wrong, Dad? Hey, Boruto. Got a minute? Hmm? What's wrong? It's just so much information. I'm starting to get confused. So how about we get organized here a little? We might be able to figure something out. Yeah, me too. Actually, I gotta admit, my head is all messed up as well. Okay, so let's review what's been going on. Right now, it's not only the Hidden Leaf Village, but the whole ninja world is acting strange. Everyone's personality has changed, and they're all trying to start a war. If we follow this back, do you remember what the cause was? Uh, let me see. I'm pretty sure that it's because of the moon. I mean, from a couple days ago, isn't it? Yes. Blemishes appeared on everyone because of that. It's somehow connected to all the current commotion. But we didn't get the marks on us. No. People say the light was strong enough to affect people even if they didn't see it directly. So, what's the difference between us and the people with marks? So, if we look at the specifics, your mother and sister got the mark, but you didn't, even though you were in the same house. What was the difference in what you did versus what they did? Differences? I mean, Ninja Heroes is about all there is. Yes. You, me, and Sarada, too. We were all playing Ninja Heroes. I think you were getting information about fatigue from the game. Yeah, that's right. I mean, that's about the only difference. I think this is a big point. You make it sound like it is. Then I guess either the game console or the virtual space has a trick to it. If there is, we don't know if it has any connection with this case. However, I think it's worth investigating. Yeah. Sasuke. We thought about it, and we think the game is suspicious. Don't ask me what, but I feel like we'll find some sort of clue there. I was thinking the same thing. Um, what is it exactly? I first grew suspicious when you didn't receive the effects of the moonlight. You were only playing the game. It's not like you took any protective measures. However, that light couldn't be blocked by any ordinary means. You would need a special jutsu like mine to interrupt it, or... not be there to begin with. Be there? And if you weren't there, then it wouldn't be a stretch to think there was something to the game itself. Dad, do you mean... Hm, I see it. A hidden jutsu inscription. It looks like a special one similar to a summoning. A huh? summoning? That's been set to the game console? Yes. I don't know what jutsu it's based on, 
but I think we can assume that it has the power to transport something. Considering that this was set to this console, there's a possibility that identical inscriptions could be set in other items. This is unbelievable! So this is the reason why the mark didn't appear when we were hit by the moonlight. Yes. In other words, you weren't really on this side. You were actually in a different space, sent there by the transportation jutsu inscription set to that console. But... but doesn't transportation usually mean moving the entire body? Not knowing the details of the jutsu, this is merely a conjecture, but... Is it possible that this jutsu is only transporting the mind? If not, this case would have been discovered sooner. It would have been the game that makes people disappear. That's true. In other words, the mark from the moonlight is introduced by the mind, and not the body. That's why we didn't get the mark, since we were over there. Hmm? Wait a second. If our minds were being transported, that means that space was... Huh? I mean, what is Ninja Heroes, then? Right. Up until now, we thought that we were playing in the game's virtual space, controlling the game characters. It turns out that our minds were transported to some other space, not in the game, and playing there. Seriously? However, that can only be possible if there is a space to bring in the minds. It would take a powerful ninja to be able to do something like that. An Uchiha could do it. An Uchiha? Of course, not every Uchiha clan member could do something like that. But it's obvious there is someone here who can. What do you mean? I've been traversing the ninja world these last few days on a mission for Naruto. He wanted me to look into a scroll stolen by someone named Teguse, who left the village several months ago. Teguse? Could it be that the scroll he stole was the history of Warring State Seals? Yes. The scroll had details about dangerous Genin sealed during the Warring States period, and included their abilities and locations where they were sealed. I received a copy and went around investigating the seal locations. The other day, I discovered that the seal for one of the locations had been broken. The person sealed there was... an Uchiha clan member. I don't know their name. It wasn't listed anywhere. However, according to the scroll, this person possessed an ability called Yachihoko, and was instrumental in the war as an Uchiha clan weapon. There's something else. The records said that aside from Yachihoko, this person had jutsu such as Tsukuyomi and Amaterasu implanted. I know Amaterasu is the black flame you use, but what is Tsukuyomi? The user creates a space in full control of its shape, time, and rules, and then brings in a third party. The jutsu is primarily used to inflict psychological damage on your opponent. If that were used for another purpose, such as ninja heroes, for example. Exactly. Everything would make sense. The key is the existence of this mystery Uchiha. It would be safe to assume that only someone with Uchiha abilities could control a jutsu on the scale of that infinite Tsukuyomi. And the ninja hero space we played in was created by that Tsukuyomi, a Uchiha clan jutsu. I wasn't able to track down Teguse, who stole the scroll, but based on the information, it seems that he assisted Zero. That was the final piece of the puzzle. Ninja Heroes was created from his skills and the power of the Uchiha clan. If it's something they created, it makes sense that we don't know who the developer is. It's rather clear now that Zero and the game are connected. We also know this chaos won't end unless we stop Zero. With how little information we have on their organization, this game is the breakthrough we need. You will go into the game and see if there's anyone inside connected to Zero. 
If we do find someone connected to Zero, we'll be able to find out what they're after and where they're headquartered. Okay, let's roll. Right, Boruto? Right, Mitsuki? Y yeah. Oh, he's here. Let's get started then. Sure. What's wrong? We have to do our best if we're going to resolve this situation. Uh, I know. Boruto. Hmm? You already have an idea who's connected to Zero, don't you? <coughs> Someone who's always in Ninja Heroes and can control this space. I mean, there's really only one person who it could be. Oh, you're here. Yeah. What's wrong? You sound so gloomy. That's not the Boruto I know. Um... Oh, I know. You were about to say something selfish again, right? You want more missions? Hmm. <sighs> Fine. I'm really not supposed to give in to such demands. But for you, I can bend the rules. No, that's not why I'm here today. Hmm? The ninja world is in chaos right now. Did you know that? I didn't. I'm the guide for this game. I don't know anything going on outside. My dad and a lot of other people have gone crazy. War is about to break out in the ninja world. Hmm? So? How is telling me going to help when I don't know anything about it? Well... Of course you know. You guys! What do you mean? There's a lot of evidence pointing in your direction. Boruto, if this is too hard for you, I can do it. This place isn't a virtual game space. It's a genjutsu world created by someone. They're using an Uchiha ability called Tsukuyomi to make it possible. We also know someone capable of doing that is with this criminal organization called Zero. <sighs> we already know this game is connected to Zero. In other words, it wouldn't be strange if there was a Zero supporter here. They'd also have the ability to take part in the game at will. I remember what you said. I know you're the game's guide character, but can you really set up a battle at your own convenience? I'm like a wizard in this space. That's nothing. And you actually did it. So, what are you trying to say? That I'm this zero supporter because I can control this space at will? Yes. Although we don't know if there's some third party controlling the character named Nanashi, or if it's through some other means. Is this what you think too, Boruto? I don't want to think that. But... But there's so many things pointing at you, Nanashi. <laughs> oh, so you noticed. So it is you. I guess it's all right. I couldn't keep up the ruse much longer anyway. You guys were right about this space. My role is to manage it while disguised as a guide character. To be honest, it was hard playing the guide. I had to do my best using systematic words and being polite. Doing my boring job as a guide and having everyone enjoy the game without drawing attention to myself until I was ready to execute the plan. <sighs> Why did I get stuck having to do that for such low-life ninjas? That Tegusei guy really gave me such stupid orders. I just followed them because Zero is going to grant me my wish. Why would you do that? I needed a means to recover. Engraved Tsukuyomi requires a lot of chakra, and I was just revived. 
That's why this space was set with a chakra draining device to use for the recovery. That's the truth behind the fatigue you guys were sniffing around about. I see. And you recovered enough chakra to use the engraved Tsukuyomi, that unnatural moon phenomenon. Yes. Thanks to it, I was able to mark everyone in the ninja world. So I am actually grateful to you. You and all the game players who helped me recover. Oh, and I'm also grateful for all the Kiseki gathering. Especially you, Boruto. That Kiseki you brought was the Hokage's, after all. What? What do you mean? There's this ability called Yachi Hoko. It allows you to control the minds and chakra of any person linked with the mark. Being able to control their minds means they can be summoned to wherever you want. Are you saying... Have you figured it out? The opponents you fought in the Kiseki Gathering were the minds brought here from the real world with Yachi Hoko. The Kiseki that you got from defeating them? It actually belonged to that person. In short, their memories. Putting out the light inside the Kiseki, that removes the memory. And if instead, another memory were put inside... They can be brainwashed. Exactly. Then I got my dad's... That's why I told you it wouldn't be any fun. You... you... do you really think doing this will get your wish granted? You've just created chaos! That was precisely what my wish was. Ninja turning on and hurting each other, the ninja world collapsing on itself, and erasing all of the ninja everywhere. Zero will make that come true. I mean, the ninja world is on the brink of war as we speak. No one can stop it now. You... Screw you! No way you're getting away with this! You can protest all you want, but... How exactly are you going to stop me? It's easy. We'll get you to tell us everything. Stuff like how to get the memories back, or where the enemy hideout is. I see. However, you worthless ninja are weak, foolish, and small. The only thing big about you are your mouths. You really think? You think you can beat me? I'm Nanashi Uchiha! <gasps> Your body! You too! I am freely in control of your temporary forms and this space. <clears throat> Nanashi? Those eyes and hair color are the same as mine and my dad's. So the Uchiha who was revived was... That's you! In any case, being able to change the space all at once. What do you think? This is all just trivial for me to do. You are no match for me. Or do you still think you can defeat me? <laughs> the look on your face. Stop helping Zero! There's still time to make this right! Stop? Who do you think you are? You've lived all your life in comfort. You're all soft! There's no reason to destroy the ninja world. Everyone we love will be... I know you're a really nice person. You wouldn't really do something bad. What? What do you know about me? You don't know what I feel? Or what I've been through? You don't know anything! Sharingan! <laughs> There are so many things in this world that I absolutely despise. That includes ninja. And also, the ninja world. Just thinking about it consumes me with rage. It pains me. I can't stop the anger from pouring out of me. That's the reason I supported Zero. And why I sent the whole ninja world into chaos. I hate ninja, all of them. I wish that they'd all die! This is... Nanashi! Hold on!
None of she stops. What is she waiting for? Call <laughs> me. Seems she has the advantage in this space. Nanashi! If only I had you back then. Hey! <gasps> We're back. Seems that way. <clears throat> Oh, you're awake. The plan is already going smoothly. I think I've done enough. There's no need to monitor that side anymore. Hmm, but... It's fine. The plan is going smoothly, as Nanashi said. Leaf, sand, cloud, stone, mist. All of the five great villages have started preparing for war. It's only a matter of time now before the fifth great ninja war begins. The world needs pain. By inflicting pain, this unrefined world will be able to grow. Merit, you are something akin to me. Your family and friends were taken from you by the warring nations. You learned of pain just like me, and realized how wrong the world is. Therefore, we have a similar intention. Changing the world is quite simple, if you have the unbreakable will of the gods. Dedicate your efforts and your will to realize Akatsuki's mission. The whole world. The people. War will ruin the villages and at that point, they'll collapse. And Zero shall provide the reign of power that Lord Payne strived for. <laughs>